Good day, folks. Welcome to the MB Wildman channel. On today's video, I'm going to show you a real quick build that I do here. And there's a very similar one to it on the channel already, but um, stick with me. This one's way better. It's a revised version, so, uh, so hang tight. Listen, if you haven't yet subscribed to the MB Wildman channel, we sure would appreciate it. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Turn on that bell so that you get notified we upload new content. We don't want you to miss any videos. And as always, you know, we're looking for questions, comments, concerns, whatever you got. You can go ahead and leave those in the comment section down below, and we'll get back to you as soon as we possibly can on those. So I'm here with my man Elliot today, and uh, it's pink shirt day here in New Brunswick. So we got our pink shirt for anti-bullying on today, and uh, it's good to support that. So no bullies, we like it. Um, all right, so what we're going to build today is we're going to build a folding version or a compact version of the catch pole that I did a video. I think it was in January, maybe? Did I put that video in January? I don't know. Uh, about a month ago or so, we did a video on um, how to build your own catch and release pole at a PVC pipe. Now, I got a few comments on that, and I've been talking to some people since then that, that say they don't like to carry the catch poles uh, when they don't have a vehicle to drive around and do their trap line in. So they, they, if, they're, if they got a pack basket on or whatever, they don't carry one uh, because it's just too long, it's too big, and, and whatnot. So what we did uh, is we came up with a version that you can actually fold up yeah, we and... Can. You can fold it so then it would be easier to carry. Sure, much. yeah. So we can fold it up. It'll fit right in your pack basket for those of you that carry the trapping pass ba trapping, trapping pack baskets. Talk much? Ooh. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so what you're going to need to get started, obviously, is the same types of material that you needed uh, for the other one. And if you haven't seen that other video, it's up on the channel. You can go ahead and check it out. Um, we'd appreciate that too, for sure. So we, this is a handle part that you're going to use. This is just a connector piece um, for two pieces of, um, of water pipe. So one of those. And then this is a, just a little piece. It has the grooves for a little thing to connect in it. Okay, so this is a, this is a three quarter inch um, conduit connector, right? So it's got the three quarter inch on one side and it's uh, it's a reducer. So when you go, if you want to buy one of these in the hardware store, you're looking for a three quarter to half inch uh, conduit reducer. Okay, that's what this is. And then this goes with it. It's the part that screws into it. This piece uh, doesn't actually, you can't buy these together. Yeah. Okay. So, well, you can buy them in the same place, but not yeah. together. So this is actually uh, a piece that screws into um, if you were going to run your conduit into an electrical box or into a into a box for you know you're actually doing electrical work, this is the piece that screws into the box. But what what we've got is when you take the piece that screws into the box at three quarter inch and you take the reducer, then what you get is you get a piece that will screw into the half inch reducer. So I'll show you those in just a second. Okay, you need those three things. Um, go ahead and use that. You need, you need Eight, I think it's a snaring wire, isn't it? Eight feet, yeah. Yeah, eight feet of snaring wire. So I use the same cable that I build my extension cables out of, um, or whatever I'm going to build my coyote snares out of. I don't use the thinner 119th cable. Um, this is 764th, I believe. And then, um, 7x7 aircraft cable. And then you need two of these, I think 25 inch of... Uh, three, no, three you're good. quarters, 25 yeah. inch. You need two of these. Okay, so PVC this, pipe. yeah, this is this is conduit, PVC conduit, three quarter inch. And in the other video, we always started out with 50 inches. So we had a 50 inch solid piece. Uh, what Elliot and I have done today is we've taken our 50 inch piece and we've cut it in half. So we end up with basically two 25 inch pieces. So this, when you're done with this, this is all gonna fold up into just a little tiny bit more than a two foot, um, two foot catch pole. Okay, so you need those two things. You need uh, one double furrow, right, from your snaring supply stuff, and you need one single stop, and you need either like a swager or a hammer or whatever you're gonna hammer those shot with. Okay, so it, this is a real simple build. It's just gonna take us a second to show you. Um, the first thing that we did was we moved up one of these. We moved up about an inch and a half on one of the pieces of conduit, and we drilled a hole. All right, so that's pretty much all that you need to do in, in that, for that one. And then on the other end, okay, so you've got one with the hole drilled in it. On the other end of it, you're going to attach with just a little tiny bit of PVC glue, right? You're going to attach the, this piece, okay? So the piece that would screw into the conduit box, right? So the piece with the threads on the, on the outside, right? So the kind of the male end, right? And then you're going to attach that with just a little bit of PVC glue. PVC glue 
well, it, it is rock hard when it is dry, okay? So this is not coming off of there, so when you get it on there, uh, it, won't, it won't slide off, you don't have to worry about that. The other piece, you basically just leave it, leave it the way it is. If you happen to be like me and you can't cut straight, right? So I cut this with a hacksaw and it's just a wee bit crooked. The, the side that's crooked or the most crooked side, okay? Uh, you can bury that inside of this adapter, right? So again, a little PVC glue, and you're gonna and you're gonna push that on uh, as the adapter. Okay, that's all you need to do for that one. Okay, so just set that to the side. Your next step is gonna be okay. just. You go take ahead. the eight foot piece of snaring. I think it's snaring wire. Right? Yeah, eight foot piece of snaring, snaring wire. wire. I like to start with eight feet. Um, if you're gonna use a 50 inch catch pole, then eight feet is lots, and it's about the right size. So you can adjust the length of your snare wire that you use here, depending on the length of the catch pole that you want. You can build these longer or, mm -hmm. or shorter, depending on what you want to do. So all you need to do now is take one end and you're going to feed it through the hole that you made in the pipe, okay? So once you feed it through there and pull it out, you got your little fingers in there? Can you pull that out of there? You grab it or not? Don't let it stab you because sometimes that's sharp. Got it. Got it? Okay, so pull it right out. Okay, good. Okay, so Elliot's pulled that through the hole. So now all we're going to do is we're going to just take our single stop and we're going to hammer our single stop onto the end of our snare wire. Okay, I'm just going to slide it on there like that. And then we're going to hammer that stop on. So just hold on while I hammer. Stay right there. Don't go away. Stay right there. I'm going to hammer this on here like this. Perfect. So just like that, hammer the stop on and then pull it back into the pipe. Once you pull it into the pipe, obviously you've just kind of made that so it, it, it won't come out of there. Okay, so now that can never come out. Yeah, Take the other end of your wire. Do, 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 do. Uh, pull that up there, man. Wherever the other end yep, is. Find the other end. There it is. Okay, now feed the other end down through. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, all the way through the pipe. No, feed it all the way through the pipe. Just miss that stop and keep pushing. Push, 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 push. Okay, so now you've fed it all the way down through. It's like a loop. Okay, so what you've done is you've just created a loop on the end of your catch pole, right? So if you want to catch pole somebody, don't put that on your head, that's not safe. Put your hand in there, please. Okay, so if you wanted to catch pole Elliot's hand, you could just do that by pulling on this end of the rope or end of the wire. Cool. Okay, so now we got that piece done. Hold that, please. Let it slide, let it slide. That's a big okay, you got your other piece and you're gonna feed your wire through this piece. Okay, I can see most of you at home are going, oh yeah, I see where this is going, right? Okay, now that you've got that done, you can screw these two pieces together like this in the middle. And if you turn, if you turn the back piece and not the front piece, you, like if you turn the front piece, you can see how your loop keeps flipping over and you'll twist the wire up a little bit. But if you turn the back piece, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't really do that. So you just turn these two pieces together and they don't have to be just singing tight, right? They just gotta be together because you're only gonna catch and you're only gonna use this for a small amount of time and then you're gonna take it apart. So once that's done, you've got this extra wire hanging out the back. Can you hold that, Elliot? And all you need to do now is take your handle. You can use whatever you want for a handle for these. I like these because they're, they're cheap and they're easy and I don't have to do much work with them. Uh, you can build, uh, I actually built a real nice wooden one uh, not too long ago that was really neat. So um, I built that one and uh, I like a wooden handle too. But the plastic ones, they last way longer than the wooden ones and, and they're fine. So the, what you're going to do to make your handle is you're going to slide your double furrow onto your wire. Then you're gonna slide your handle onto your wire, and you're gonna loop it around and bring it back into the double furrow, okay? So just like that, right there, okay? And you're gonna, that'll, that'll make your handle loop. Now, just a second, I'm gonna smash my furrow down here so that we, ah. so that that doesn't happen right there, okay? That's exactly why we That's have exactly the furrow. That's exactly why we have the furrow, so it doesn't come undone. Let me just hit this down. Okay. You got it. Yeah, got you got it on that end? Mm -hmm. Okay. Give me a little bit of room to get to my anvil. That's as far as you're gonna go. That's all I got? Yeah. Good thing. That's a 
Okay. So at the end of the day, this is what you've got. You've got your double furrow. You turn it your handle like this. I like to just kind of bend this wire just a tiny, tiny bit, just with my thumbs or whatever right there, just, just to, so it stays in that shape. Otherwise, you end up with your, hand, your handle like this all the time. But if you just bend it a little bit like that, it'll stay in this shape, okay? What you've just built, my friends, just like that, is, a is you've built, let me see if I can show this to you here. So you've built a catch pole like this, and you can pull on the handle, right, to close up your loop, and you can push it to reduce your loop, and all of that, right? You've got a handle that you can work with, and this is 50 inches long, so this is the same length as the one that I would have built before. However, just a quick turn, right? Undo this back piece like this, and voila push it together it's 25 inches and that baby is 25 inches long just like that nice compact fits right in your pack basket or behind the seat of the truck or wherever you want it's just small like that catch an animal you're ready to use it it doesn't tangle or anything like that you just gotta put it back together like this give it a couple quick turns pull out your loop and you've got your uh you've got your exact same 50 inch catch pole again that you had before so Anyway, listen, I hope this is something that can help you out on your line. Elliot and I, uh, we built the first one, and it's real good. And uh, But then we had some suggestions. And so here's a real compact version of the exact same thing. Works every bit as good. It's just the same. And I uh, really hope this is something you can use out on your line. So until next time, happy hunting. Can be on my channel. Woo!